YouTubers, it's Jan here and my channel is Thread Garden. Welcome here if it's your first time and if it isn't um, and you've been here lots, um, hello again, I'm pleased to have you back. Today I want to do a review on a floss winder I found at my local needle workshop for just two dollars which is very good price and I wanted to show you how I easy it is for me to use and how it organizes my stash. This is my carriage house samplings project called the Shores of Hawk Run Hollow and this is the first block, block one, which I completed this last month. I'm pleased to have finished it as it took me probably nine months, which I'm appalled to say. But anyway, it's finished. I want to organise my threads for this project. There are 11 blocks in total and I want to get a bit more organised. I have kept all of the flosses in these glad bags. So far it was the thing that seemed to be working for me. And when I had a working um, strand, I would just tie it onto the skein. I had tried some bobbins on a ring, but I just found those bobbin cards were bending too much, so I stopped using that. So I've decided to get a little box like this, which I got my local needlework shop spotlight, and um, it comes with some bobbins and use the floss winder to organise my stash. I will then use my Dymo labeler to put the number on. When I organise my stash for the Prairie Schooler alphabet, I use plastic cards, plastic bobbin cards, and I must say they um, actually are better probably than the cardboard because they don't bend um, and they will last longer. But I have run out of the plastic one. I have used them all, and so today I'll be using the cardboard ones. There is nothing like being organised with your threads. It certainly saves time if you can easily um, grab the colours you need and also if you're not wasting bits of thread because you misplace them, keeping them with um, the number means that you will, of the thread means that you will use them more. It's a, it saves wastage. So my floss winder is a very pretty girly pink which I think is perfect. In order to use it you have to um, use one of these organiser boxes to hold the floss winder. This one's holding really quite firmly in this box which is fabulous because in the last box I used probably didn't have quite um, a thicker frame so I found the floss winder moved a lot. Now as you can see this box is moving a lot so I recommend using some sort of maybe wet damp cloth to hold it there so that when you're winding the floss it doesn't move. So that were probably two of my criticisms. Uh, I like the fact it was pink. I like the fact it was only $2. I like being able to use it so easily with this box. But on the downside, um, you need something firm so this box doesn't slip everywhere. And uh, you need to make sure this floss winder is firm as well. I Last time, I, when I was using it with my other box and it was a bit slippery, I just ended up using a little bit of extra cardboard underneath, um, say in the gap, just to um, give it a bit more strength. So I might do this thread. Um, this is 830DMC. You have to take off the um, tags. Um, you see all the bobbin cards have a hole and you match that in to the hole on the floss winder there. Comes with a pink peg. Very important you don't lose that. It is easy to lose, so be very careful. You then um, take the, the end of the DMC thread. I think it's good to poke it through the slit at the end just to hold it. And then um, hold it with your other hand and you wind with your dominant hand holding the thread um, in your hand like that. And it is much quicker than if you're winding by hand. You see how um, you see how this slips a bit, so that is a bit of a downside. Um, also, I find it's easy if you're holding the box and your finger and your thread in your finger. It's holding the box and the thread in your finger at the same time. It does make it easier. Now it's a lot quicker 
than if you are um, winding it by hand. And also I think it's a lot smoother um, on the bobbin. I, it's a bit like doing a bobbin on a sewing machine. I think it's a lot smoother than if you're trying to hand wind it. Now I haven't looked on the internet, but I imagine there are some more expensive versions of this. And wouldn't it be fabulous if there were some beautiful wooden floss winders? I'm sure there are, or something a bit more sophisticated um, that, that doesn't slip. And as you can tell, it squeaks a little bit. But it does it really well. I mean, you get a really neat result. Um, and I like neat. That's good for me. Um, I'm happy with that. So it's coming along pretty well. It's probably easier the more you um, go with a skein. So DMC thread number 830 is nearly all wound. One of the advantages of having your thread on bobbins is that once you finish a project, um, you can slip them into an, a larger organiser so you can utilise them for other projects. And if, it, if they're slipped in to numerical order in an organiser, then you know what threads you've got at a glance and what you don't have and what you need to buy. So I guess that's the overall aim is to try and um, utilise your own stash. Now this is where you take off to get the bobbin off, you have to take out the little peg, don't lose it. And then you can put the leftover thread through the slit in the cardboard. And this is where the plastic ones are nice. So I've got a plastic one here. And it's just firmer um, compared with a cardboard which, which twists and bend. And then you can either write it in um, a pen, which might be easier on the cardboard. Or um, for instance, I've got my Dymo labeler here. I'll use my numbering system, 830, and here we go, 830, print it off, cut this, and cut it to size, and um, stick it on here so I always know what number it is. There you go, so that's 830 wound, um, so it's ready for its box, and I've done a couple of others here, so, and everything, um, all the colours there. Uh, easy to find, uh, as well as the working strands, like this one, where I have used um, probably two strands out of that. I just add onto the top, I just wind it on by hand after I've used a strand, and that'll be the next piece I use. I'm not using a full strand until I really need to. So it does certainly save wastage if you're not losing your threads that you're working on or can utilise. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing that floss winder today. Um, I'd love to know if there's some more expensive versions. I imagine they are. I hope you enjoy seeing the, my ideas for organising my stash. I uh, thank you for watching today. Uh, this is definitely a how-to and not showing much of my work in progress, but next time I'll have some updates for you. So I hope you have some happy stitching time until I update you then. Bye.